What's going on guys? We are back once again and we are going to be doing a, another uh, series review today. Today we are going to be going over Krypton. The uh, television series that was on for two seasons onto sci-fi and it went on for a while and again if you guys are a fan of, first off if you're a fan of Superman and you've never watched the show, definitely give it a try. It is worth it. I will say personally I am not the biggest uh, Superman fan. I'm not. But this show actually was amazing. I mean, you had a character that goes back in time to try to save Superman, uh, you know, through his grandfather. And we come across different ones, you know, you know, Adam Strange, you know, he goes in there to go after, um, you know, Seg. And he is the uh, grandfather of Superman. And we see two different versions where he wants to get with uh, different characters and one is a Zod, which, which again is really weird. I'm going to say that now where some of the casting didn't make much sense because again of how we see Zod and him being uh, Zod uh, father and then him being bro uh, either the um, uncle or whatever to Superman, which, which again is weird. I don't know a lot about the Superman lore, so guys, bear with me, please. Um, a lot of the lore that they had with, um, it just, I don't know, man, it just, it was weird. They had so many different ones that came in here that could have been great. I mean, they showed a version of Doomsday, which was absolutely badass. And then they showed Brainiac, the very, the very first Brainiac, honestly, in a series that looked like Brainiac. And acted like Brainiac. And then had this old civilization of Krypton that so many people, you know, as a fandom, we talked about in the world of Superman. And they never expanded upon it. And that's what really sucked. They never expanded on how much Krypton knew other than, you know, some of the comics or the uh, animated series or any of this other stuff. And they did such a great time. And again, it, like I said on the other video for Batwoman, Wallace Day was on here. She played as a friend slash almost love interest for the main character. And that her and um, the other, <clears throat> her and the main character were going to have a child together. <clears throat> and we also saw, got to see where Brainiac was introduced because he was the main threat that would destroy Krypton. And then... You know, Zeg, his relationship with his grandfather and then knowing about his grandson and his sons and other characters that he would have or other um, ones that he would have later on down the line. And I think that the way they did this was very interesting. It, it created a lot of drama. It created a lot of uh, phantom, you know, back and forth. Like, oh, is this really how they did it? Or what? It, it just gave so much to what happened on Krypton. And, and that's pretty much what they ran with. And they ran to a very good point but at the same time it gave us a lot of unanswered questions with the way the series ended and i think that anyone that is a superman fan to definitely check this show out it is worth a watch it is worth to try to watch it is something to get into i mean they they introduced lobo i mean come on lobo is one of those characters again it's kind of weird the way that they did Lobo, but at the same time, it was kind of cool. But again, there's certain iconic characters within Superman lore that they do introduce into the show. Um, not a whole lot of them has like super strength. Well, some have super strength. Some, you know, they still use weapons, guns, rifles, you know, things of that nature, or swords to go up against other enemies. But again, this goes more into hey, you know, it's not like a human being or human being that are mercs going up against Superman. It's very, very, very different. So. Again, guys, if you like anything that has anything to do with Superman, check this show out. It is worth it. I will say that. Um, but I think that hurt it was some of the writing, some of the casting. I think hurt it as well. Um, I think it being on sci-fi hurt it as well. I think it should have been on either uh, CW maybe or Netflix or Hulu even or Amazon Prime. I think it would have been a lot better to keep a – I think they need to keep – hero shows, superhero shows off certain networks and put it onto another network because then again, maybe it would survive. If it would have been on Netflix, it probably would have survived. If it would have been on Hulu, it probably would have survived. It was on, you, you get what I'm saying? There are a lot of shows that's on certain, certain networks that just does not work no matter what it is if it's if it's from like a movie or and it goes on to a show and then it goes on to like sci-fi or something it may work or it may not work there's always a hit or miss always and i think that this is was another thing that was a hit or miss was uh krypton and krypton uh, even though it went on for two seasons i didn't enjoy it i was a little upset that it got um 
canceled. I do understand possibly the reason why it got canceled, but at the same time, it, they could have continued it if they would have done it correctly. But either way, guys, let me know what your thoughts are about it down in the comments down below. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, and leave a big like on the video if you guys enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you as always on the next one.